I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on algebra, where we are trying to understand few strategies and tricks. This time, we are going to work with uh, rationalization. So we are given x is equal to square root of a plus 1 plus square root of a. Then we can prove that x plus its reciprocal, 1 over x, is equal to 2 times the first term. In case we want to find what is x minus 1 over 1 over x, that will be twice the second term. Now, in this case, it is very important to understand that the formula which we are trying to derive here is based on the fact that within square root, the first number is one more than the second. And that's why I have written it in this form. Right? So, I hope that makes sense. So, what we are given here is x equals to square root of a plus 1 plus square root of a. How do we find 1 over x? Well, 1 over x should be equal to 1 over all this, right? Which is square root of a plus 1 plus square root of a. Now, always, whenever you have such a situation, it is a good practice to rationalize. So, let's rationalize. Rationalization means to multiply and divide by the conjugate. We are rationalizing the denominator. So we'll multiply and uh, divide by the conjugate of this denominator, which is square root of a plus 1 minus square root of a. Right? So we do that. And now, you know difference of squares. That helps us to get rid of square root from the denominator. However, in the numerator, we get the square root as square root of a plus 1 minus square root of a. And the denominator is difference of these two squares. That is to say, we get a plus 1 minus a. Now, we began with a plus 1 purposely since, you know, that becomes 1. And therefore, we could write this as square root of a plus 1 minus square root of a as the value of 1 over x. Does make sense to you, right? So, this is kind of very important. So what you see here is that if x is given to you as sum of two consecutive radicals, kind of like this, then 1 over x is its conjugate, right? So, so what you see here is that 1 over x is basically equal to conjugate of x, correct? So this is the base for the set of questions which I have taken now. Now clearly, if I add these two, so, so let me call these equations as our equation 1 and equation 2. So if I add my equations, that is to say, if I say what is x plus 1 over x, clearly what I get here is we get twice square root of a plus 1, correct? That is what we wanted to prove. And if I have to subtract one from the other, in that case the first terms get rid of and then we get 2 times square root of a. Does make sense to you? Right? So, simple derivation, but it has huge implications in multiple choice questions. These days, very popular questions, right? So, you need to answer those questions within few seconds. And so now, with this technique, you should be in a position to answer them in no time. So, let's have a rapid fire test based on what we just learned. So to summarize, if I am given you conjugates, right? I mean, if I have given you square roots of two numbers which have just difference of 1, a plus 1 and a, right? In that case only, we get this. Otherwise, you have to do all this to get your result. Mainly the denominator. The difference of 2 is 1, so the denominator was 1. If it was something else, we'll get that as the denominator. Not a big deal, right? Okay. So let's see. So here is our very first question, and as you noticed, 3 is 2 plus 1. So it works, right? So we'll apply our strategy. Now the question is, what is x plus 1 over x? Clearly, this answer should be twice the first term, so we get 2 square root 3 as our answer. Does it make sense to you? Well, let's try to figure it out also. If I'm trying to find what is 1 over x, I will write this as 1 over square root of 3 plus 1 over square root of 2. I will rationalize this, correct? Which is to say, we'll multiply and divide by its conjugate, correct? So as soon as you do that, you get square root of 3 minus square root of 2 in the numerator, 
denominator is 1 which is difference of these two right or let me go one more step uh, 3 minus 1 right let's write okay let me do 3 minus 2 which is 1 so let me write this as square root of 3 minus square root of 2 and clearly when I add these two I get 2 times square root 3 right so this is once again to show you what we just proved right nothing more than that but here is a practice session so let's look into it now in this case is the difference 1 well think like this you are given the question as 3 that means square root of 9 right 3 is square root of 9 square root of 9 is 3 and on this side 2 when you take it inside becomes 4 4 times 2 is 8 so it is again difference of 1 now this time you need to find what is their squares and not not just 1 over x you get the idea right so what we could do here is first we could find what is x plus 1 over x right so x plus 1 over x is twice the first term which is 6 in this case right so it is 6 x plus 1 over x but we need to find what is x squared plus 1 over x now to, to get that we will square this right so we'll just square this and so what we get get here is x square plus twice x times 1 over x right plus the second term which is 1 over x square equals to 36 and now we know that x square plus 1 over x square is is known to us right is given to us uh, which was 6 and here we have a term plus 2 right equals to 36 so this is known to us right we had this as 6 we wrote x plus 1 over x equals to 6 right so we could replace this by 6 uh, sorry we need to find this value I'm so sorry so we need to just find the value of x square plus 1 over x square so which clearly is equal to let's write down x square plus 1 over x square is equals to 36 minus 2 which is 34 correct so we get option C as the right option so what you see here is that the first step was easy for us right since we know our rule right and then it became simpler to find further solution does make sense to you right now here is the next question again same time so what we have here is two yeah slightly different from the previous one I was just checking that so here what you see is that we have x equals to square root of 4 which is 2 and this is plus square root of 3 again the difference is 1 right so we can clearly write what is x plus 1 over x equal to x plus 1 over x is twice the first term which is 2 times square root of 4 which we know is 4 correct now let us square both sides since we are interested in finding x square plus 1 over square so that would be 4 square which is 16 so we get x square plus 2 because their term let me write here we'll cancel it plus 1 over x square is equal to 16 right so we get x square plus 1 over x square as 16 minus 2 which is 14 for us so 14 is the right answer is that clear so that is how we can actually solve all such questions right so here is another one for you to practice now this time the question is slightly different instead of having x plus 1 over x we have square root of x plus 1 over square root of x now how are you going to answer this particular question well at least we know one thing that if x is equals to 5 plus 2 square root of 6 then we know that 1 over x is equal to 5 minus 2 square root of 6 correct this is 25 5 square within square root right and this is 4 times 6 24 so there is a difference of 1 within the square root right so I think you understand this is 25 within square root and this is within square root 24 4 times 6 so there is a difference of 1 so we could again apply the rule which we just learned right now the question is we need to find what is square root of x plus 1 over square root of x well to find this we can just square this and then figure it out so we get this as x plus twice square root of x times 1 over square root of x 
So these are standard steps now for us, right? So which is x plus 1 over x plus 2. Now x plus 1 over x is known to us. Add these two. We get 10, right? So we get 10 plus 2, which is 12. So what is square root of x plus 1 over square root of x? It is square root of 12, right? So 12 is 4 times 3 or 2 square root 3. So 2 square root 3 becomes our solution. Is that clear to you, right? So I hope that is simple. Now here we have a trick question for you. This is, we are given x equals to square root of 3 plus square root of 2. You need to now find what is x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. So let, you can pause the video now, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So I hope you got the answer. Here is my solution, right? We are given that x is equal to square root of 3 plus square root of 2. So what is 1 over x equals to? It will be conjugate of this, I mean, uh, like this, right? Correct. So that is 1 over x. We need to find what is x cubed minus 1 over x cubed. So how can we do this? Well, let us find the difference also. What is x minus? Uh, since we need to find x cube plus 1 over x cube, we should actually find what is x plus or 1 over x. Correct? So if I do x plus 1 over x, I get 2 square root of 3, right? Twice the first, adding these two, right? So we get twice square root 3 in this particular case. What we can do here is we can actually cube this. So we have x plus 1 over x. We can cube this, right? And we have here 2 square root 3. We can cube this also, right? So when we cube this, what do we get? On the left side, we get x cubed plus 3 times x squared times 1 over x plus 3 times x times 1 over x squared. And then we get plus 1 over x cubed, right? And here, when we cube it, we get 8 and this is uh, 3, 8, 3, 24. We get, let me write down here as 8 cube of 2. And cube of 3 will be 3 square root 3. Okay, this is what we get. Now, we can actually write this as x cube plus 1 over x cube. And here we have plus 3 times x plus 3 over x equals to 24 cube root of 3, right? Now we get x cubed plus 1 over x cubed and then here we have 3 times x plus 1 over x equals to 24 cube root of 3. So we get x cubed plus 1 over x cubed equals to 24 square, square root of 3 minus 3 times x plus 1 over 6 is 2 square root 3, right? 2 square root 3. So that gives us 24, we can write this as 24 cube root of 3 minus 3 times 2 is 6 cube root of 3, right? So when you take away 6 from 24, you get 18 cube root of 3, right? So we get 18 cube root of 3 as our answer. So in our case, we get 18 cube root of 3. Actually, there was a typing error. This question was truly, for these choices, x cube minus. So what I would like you to do is solve this question. So what we found was the value of x cube plus 1 over x cube, which came to be equal to 24 minus 6 cube root 3, right? So that was our answer. And that is for x cube minus 1 over x cube. Now this question for you is to find the value of x cube. Let me rewrite. So for you, the question is to find the value of x cube minus 1 over x cube. And these are your choices, correct? So let that be your question, the test question for you. And what I have done here is found the solution for x cube plus 1 over x cube, which is 18 cube root 3. Does make sense to you, right? So feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.